Hello everyone, it's Fred again from Notes of a Nomad, video number 163. Uh, I want to explain what happened last week on my trip to Pokhara and uh, show you a few pictures and explain some of the happenings during last week. Uh, as I think I indicated in the previous video, I was a long bus ride of 20 hours. I arrived in Pokhara. And the school that I worked in was this motherland secondary school. And there was another school, a college that I'll show you. I spent some time there as well, talking about Agro Speakers International. Now, this school, I believe, has about 1,500 students, if I'm correct. And these are some of the students who were belong to the Agora Speakers Club that is in Motherland School. And this gentleman here is Dr. Uh, Mukesh Molek, and he is a doctor who attends to, uh, has a clinic for international travelers. If they get ill, they can attend his clinic. He has rooms in his clinic, and I stayed in one of his rooms, which was very generous of him. And he hosted me as well and took me around uh, to different venues that we were visiting. And this young gentleman here is the teacher. He's a 23-year-old, relatively new. I think he said he's been there two to three months at Motherland School. And he teaches public speaking. So he's involved with Agra there. So those are the two gentlemen who were sort of my host during the week. And these are some of the students. We were practicing using the Agora speakers material that I brought with them. Uh, and Again, during the day, we were practicing so that we could do a presentation. We did it on Thursday. Normally, we do it on Friday, but uh, it made sense for the school to do it on Thursday afternoon. So again, this was the actual presentation where you can see they have different roles, the timer role and the uh, meeting leader role and the speaker's roles. And they were presenting in front of uh, other students and a few people from the school as well, mainly from this school not uh didn't invite many other schools in this case so we presented uh this particular presentation and i did a, a follow-up and i also attended this particular college called international college of, of applied science and these are some of the students and other people who are interested in agro so i also worked with them in the afternoons and for a couple of days. And on Friday, I spent the day with them as well because I had finished at Motherland on Thursday. So these are some of the students uh, at uh, the school or the college, and they're very interested and very keen. Now, this was the last day, and I'll just point out this fellow. You see, he's quite well built. And on the way, after we had finished the session, say, oh, come, we want to show you something. And the something was a bodybuilding competition unexpected and uh, so I sat in and took a few pictures of the bodybuilding. Kaski Bodybuilding and Fitness Association presents Gandaki, Lumbini, Kanali and Far West Provinces level bodybuilding championships in looking for the Mr. Pokhara 2079 in the future. They use another calendar here in Nepal. They use both calendars but this is the year of 2079 in the calendar is using. And these were some of the competitors showing off their bodybuilding. So this was an interesting interlude I didn't expect, but I attended bodybuilding as well. So never expected that. So uh, also I wanted to mention what happened during the week. I have not been able to have blood tests done for oh, at least 10 years. Uh, I've tried a couple times and I've had uh, challenges getting them done for a variety of reasons in British Columbia. So while I was here, I said to the doctor, uh, Dr. <laughs> uh, Mukesh, hey, can you do some blood tests for me? So I gave him, ultimately it cost me $50 and I have pages of my blood tests. And he said, your blood's even better than mine. Everything's normal, the kidney and the, and the liver and the thyroid, which is good because I can take a thyroid pill. So that was a bonus. Didn't expect to check my blood 
but says I'm doing okay, which is excellent. Being 80 years old, everybody getting worried about me. Well, the blood tests say I'm doing well. So thanks to Dr. Mukesh, and I had it done. It was quick. Took the blood tests in before noon, and by that evening they had the results and gave me the diagnosis, saying you're doing well. So with that, I'm now in another town, in another building, in another. This is a large public school of about three and a half thousand students, and I'm about to start working with them. And I'll tell you about that in the next video. So I met Dharam. So with that, I'll say adios, au revoir, wishing you, your family and friends, lots of love and laughter. Bye for now from Fred and Nepal. Until next time.